Alrighty, a couple things uh, to cover. I think I'll try to cover them really quickly. First of all, I just I just did a video on um, hit confirming standing medium kick. So one of the things that you can actually use with that is you can use it a lot like um, a lot of the Shotos is low forwards like Ryu or Ken or Akuma where they have uh, their hit conf confirmable low forwards but they can also like you know harass with it and uh, they have the option of creating a frame trap or combo by canceling it into whatever their fireballs for example. So Fault can do pretty much exactly the same thing, only minus hitting low with her uh, her standard medium kick. She can look it for it by itself, look to single hit confirm it. She can delay cancel it and create a frame trap, and that's what I want to talk about right now. So if you are if you're harassing and looking for the confirm. You can stop the opponent from pressing buttons by doing a late cancel into the gunshot, and I want to talk about some of the things you can do. Alrighty, so here's the first couple. You can do, like, frame traps like light punch, or a uh, light kick into this block string. And if you get a counter hit off of it at that range, uh, standing counter hit. You can go into crouching medium punch, which you can convert off of with V-Trigger. If you get a crouching counter hit, oh wait, no, that was a, that was with um, standing light kick. If you get a crouching counter hit, you're in range to convert off of it on uh, with a standing medium kick, which you can go into a knockdown, do plenty of stuff like that. And if it's not on counter hit, like if I just held up there. You can convert off of all those ranges with CA. So the next block string. On crouching, after this, you can be hit uh, without counter hit uh, by low forward, but when you're standing, you cannot. And on counter hits, uh, standing or crouching, you can link into standing medium kick. This frame trap, standing or crouching, on normal hit, you can convert into low forward. On counter hit, you can go into standing medium kick. And various combinations of, like, lights will put you in the same situation as, uh, like, stand light punch, stand medium punch, stand medium kick. Beyond that, you can also augment a lot of these from even further range by late canceling into the V skill. And then you can easily confirm that into the gunshot for decent damage. Uh, you, if you want to spend more gunshots, that's fine. Or you can take the Oki, which is really good, two, two dashes into throw range. And you can use those various tools to harass the opponent and, uh, you know, look for single hit confirms and occasionally threaten with a late cancel into something that will grant you a good knockdown and even then this is significantly harder but um and I've already talked about this in at least one other video but it is possible to late cancel in uh, the V scale itself as well into the gunshot which is uh, not easy here let's try it There we go. To create a frame trap. Really late in. Uh, very small window, but if you delay it as much as possible, you can create a frame trap as that. Which allows you to... Occasionally get away Wait. with doing this on block and not committing. Because you do have the threat of committing to that. And if you're not confident about your timing, you can instead just go for that. Which uh, is a frame trap. Well, actually, here. It's actually not a frame trap, because you will get interrupted if you do this. But, um, this V skill is, like, what, minus 10 on block? So if if they do something that's a 10 framer, yeah, it'll, it'll frame trap that. 10 framer, or 8 framer, or something. But if you really want to be, like, precise and interrupt these 4 framers and 3 framers and such... The only way to do that is with a very precisely timed standing gunshot as late as possible. <laughs>
In addition to that, delay cancel kind of stuff. You can also, uh, if you don't cancel, you're putting it, uh, yourself at like a nice minus two prime opportunity to buffer your light punch. Or some other button. But light punch is one of the few that is good at like a close range buffer because a lot of other stuff whiffs for a long time. Or it doesn't combo. So you can buffer your... Uh, Stand jab, so that was a. Oops. And uh, and it works pretty well against some counter poking, so that's that's pretty handy. Alrighty, so that is a, a really strong tool to incorporate. Um. What's next? Yeah, let's talk about uh, some issues. Some issues with V Shift Falk has. Mm, Falk is really bad. I've been going through every single character and trying like every frame trap and every special and seeing what uh, what V Shift uh, does to it and how big of a punish or whether or not some like light into medium is V Shiftable on block or anything like that. Mm Falk is one of the worst that I've uh, labbed so far out of like half the cast. All of her mediums in frame traps are punishable by V-Break. She doesn't have great tools against the, the mechanic as a whole. Um, and the things that, uh, if they get a read on some of her frame traps or just some of her tools in general, it's pretty, like, the punishes can be bad. So that's like really, really negative. And because it's not like a, a regular fireball, you can't, uh, it won't continue to chase her. It's not meaty enough to trigger the V shift and then keep hitting. So it means that you can just do the, oh, I keep fucking it up. There we go. So it means that, and depending on the character, they can they they can punish that with any long range tools. Charge characters uh, can still get charge in time to punish that. Uh, Cami is going to be able to punish that for even in mid screen. Just on the V shift, it, that one's really negative on V shift. Not to mention like doing it as a meaty setup in the corner, because you have a double meaty. when you do it like that, but if they V-shift that, or V-shift any of your, like, gunshot block strings or whatever in the corner, that's just, that's minus 19 or 20 or 18 around there. That's really dangerous. It's a huge punish that they're going to get on you for doing that. So that's not great. I would probably refrain if the opponent's wary of this. Or even if they aren't, if they're just V-shift ha happy, I would probably refrain from doing as many, like, V shiftable cancels into gunshot. I would probably stick more with like heavy punch into gunshot with no gap or uh, or raw gunshot that they won't predict. Or just like cool it <laughs> a little bit. Uh, another thing that's really bad on V shift. So interestingly enough, because most moves on V shift they trigger as if they're hitting, right? They're hitting something. And that's why you're allowed to cancel off of them. See, so, yeah, I mean, they can they can cancel as if they're hitting something, even though you're evading it. Sort of like a parry state, but unique and, and different from a parry state uh, in how it works. But in this instance, like, for example, dive kicks are things that trigger differently on hit than they do on whiff. It just keeps going. It doesn't even think that it's hit something when you, uh... When you V-shift this, it just keeps going. Which is pretty rough, because it's very... My game keeps getting, like, really... 
yeah, it's like lagging almost. Anyways, it's incredibly minus, and uh, that will get punished really hard. And you can't like it's not just regular dive kicks that will that will happen to uh, here. Oh look, well at least that one's safe if you do it as fast as possible on like um, but. Doing it as fast as possible is not what will catch, uh, you have to do it a little bit delayed if you want to catch the, um, back rise off of that setup. Because if you do it like that, and they get up, it's not even, um, it's not even touching them, which means it's, it's punishable. So, in order to actually time the dive kick in this setup, you either have to guess which wake up they're going to do, or do the dive kick a little bit later, which will mean that it's punishable if they quick rise and V-Shift. See, that was minus six. So, not, not great. Beyond that, I wanted to, um, talk about, uh, uh, uh corner, like, meaty setup that, uh, Falk can do. That will cover... So this is a way that she can meaty them with a strike rather than a throw, but still cover both options of the V-Shift. Here, let me demonstrate. So meaty them with a standing light punch, which will trigger the V-Shift if they do wake up V-Shift. If they don't commit to the V-Break follow-up, the mine itself will explode later, thus putting them in, like, over 20 frames of block stun. Uh, or hit stun if they for some reason try to press there uh, you recover in time like you're plus here You're like plus four or plus five in this situation uh, At best I believe you can be plus six uh, So if they commit to the full V break after the V shift You can just react to that either with um ex Schneide or if you have access to it your own V shift uh, so that's not too much trouble and it lets you deal with both options and you can just wait for it And then you can see that they blocked or got hit by the um the exploding mine. It's a pretty good option uh, Not a lot of characters have an option that lets them do this cover everything that the V shift does while still strike meeting the opponent So that's pretty handy and beyond that I wanted to just talk about uh, when you trigger the V shift with uh, moves that won't be Punishable by the V break, like um, like Crouch Fierce and a gunshot or something. So if you do like standing light punch or crouching light kick or something, for example, as a meaty, if you manually time it, you're usually going to be something around like plus five, plus six, plus seven. Oh, I keep fucking up. On their V shift. Which means that you can do another another stand light punch or a standing medium punch or something, but you can get a meaty stand light punch. Which, uh, if even if it's just one frame meaty, then it will allow you to combo. I fucked it up. Keep fucking that up. Into a standing medium punch by itself, and it'll be plus three or plus four on block. So that's about it. That's uh, that's what I have for you right now.